So there are these box sets that are a mix of really good movies and really terrible movies and I'm slowly working my way through them. So today I'm watching the 1965 film Nightmare Castle. I don't know the cast, I don't know the director, I'm guessing it'll be a literal title of a castle filled with nightmares which sounds horrifying. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch please comment below and if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. The Night of the Doomed? Okay, it has multiple titles? I don't recognize any of the cast so far. Okay, original story. So yeah, it's not based on a book or anything. Okay, interesting. I asked you before not to come down to my laboratory while I'm busy with my experiments. Oh. If these animals could speak, they'd have something to say about your taste. Her audio seems dubbed. You're leaving for the Edinburgh Congress with a lot of fanatical good-for-nothings like yourself, I suppose. Don't you ever dare to speak to me like that, Muriel. Oh, she went right for the triggers. Even... You mustn't mind if I care about your going away so frequently. After all, I'm your wife. And I'd like to spend the night with you. Oh my, this took a turn. It's gonna be so spicy. Oh God, what's happening here? Okay, she's up to something for sure. Oh my, it was a very suspicious smile. Is Derek gonna be tending to more than the plants? Oh my, what's going on here? Changing to something a little bit more comfortable? Okay. Oh my. Oh, poor Stephen. You know I don't like you to talk about him that way. Why? Do you still love him? You're just making a fool of me. <laughs> it's you I love. <laughs> Oh, my. Such smooches. It looks like she has, like, burn scars or something on her face. She's taking her lover to the greenhouse. Oh, my. Except he didn't actually leave. Um... This is not gonna go well. Oh my gosh. He clearly suspected her of cheating and uh, now he has his proof. Oh, bonked him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's literally tied them up and is whipping them. Cheese and rice. No, no. It's a good thing this isn't black and white. I feel like there would be a lot of blood everywhere. You and your filthy friends. But death, my dear, must come to you only after I've torn from your bodies all the suffering and pain a human being can stand. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, yet how long it takes to die of pain. I don't want to find out. That's awful. Oh my god, this guy's a monster. He's just gonna torture them slowly? That's his plan? 
a sip. Just, just a sip. Yeah, he's like, oh, you guys must be thirsty. Hmm. Taunting them with water. What a jerk. But even by killing me, you can't free yourself from my hatred, Stephen Aerosmith. You can kill my body, but I'll never leave you in peace. Never. Never. She's I'm like, I'll come back and haunt you. Oh, my. You are destined to rot and fertilize the earth. I can still hurt you while I'm alive, Stephen. You thought you would inherit everything if I died, didn't you? Oh, he's after her money. Oh. But you've made a tremendous mistake, you know, Stephen. Do you understand that? Because I made a new will. After I realized what a vile, perverted monster I married. Oh, shoot. What experiments is he doing? Will. In which I bequeathed everything through good hands to my stepsister, Jenny. <laughs> Plot twist. Once he has obtained what he wants, he'll kill us just the same. How can you trust such a monster? Exactly. Oh, God. It's like, I'll let you go if you just give me all your money. No big deal. And the house and everything in your will. And don't be afraid. You will get your reward. A reward that will be more precious to you than all the wealth in the world. Yeah, I'm very curious about his experiments, like the secret that mankind has been looking for. Is he planning on just like killing this Jenny character then? So he gets it or convincing her to make leave her will to him? Now you'll see. Now you'll feel what I felt. Oh, God, no. I don't like where this is going. No, 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 no. This is going to be very bad, isn't it? No! Oh! 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 Help me! Is that acid? What is he dropping on her? Oh, my God. It looks very painful. Jeez, and rice. This guy's thought this through. He just happens to have all these torture devices laying around. Oh my god, this guy's a sicko. Oh, he's tied these wires to his feet. Oh my god, he's electrocuting them. Oh my god. Just with this like flashes of light. Oh my gosh. It's like very intense piano music or organ. I'm assuming this was shot in black and white for budget purposes as black and white film is a lot cheaper, but yeah, it's still pretty uh, like that would have been really gory to see in color. Oh God. He turned his urn into a plant pot. Oh my gosh. He's growing a tree from his ashes. Wow. Hampton Castle is the largest in the county. I'm sure you'll feel at home here. And this is Solange. She will look after you and be useful to you in many ways. She looks so much different. Solange, what? Oh, Miss Hampton. Miss Hampton? But she is my wife. The second Mrs. Arrowsmith. We were just of course he just went and married her, yeah. Oh. What a peculiar plant. I've never seen one like it before. <laughs> Nepente iridata. It is very dear to me. This is grown from the ashes of your uh, ex or ex-wife and her lover. Why did you marry her? We never spoke about it. That can't be a good sign. Oh my gosh. Uh, and Jenny? Yes. I might even come to like her. So now we'll never get rid of Jenny again as you promised me you would. I shall have to put up with another mistress. On the surface, Jenny... Are these two together? Best and surely the safest way out. But anything unexpected might possibly crop up. Who will guarantee to us that her mental condition will get worse? 
I'll see to that. So he's just gonna like poison her, or what's his plan? May this be the first of many happy days. Yeah, he only married her because he can take over her money and her estate at some point. He's just using her, obviously. She said she'd come back and haunt you, so... Do you like it? Superb. You are wonderful. <laughs> That's, yeah, she's wearing her sister's clothes now. It's somewhat special. It could be dangerous. That's the chair, like, the arms come in and trap you. It's a piece from the rather bizarre collection of your ancestors. I see. It's like, don't sit there. You'll be on to... Oh, my. Their wedding night? Oh, so spicy. Oh, the plant is bleeding? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Muriel's like, I'll come back and haunt you, and that's exactly what she seems to be doing, but, uh... I wonder what he told Jenny, like, how her sister died? And why she was in the asylum? Like, we don't know much about her. God, the painting. Oh, you think he would have taken that down, but. So now she's seeing her and David in the greenhouse, like with her sister. What? She's just replacing her sister, basically. That's so creepy. He's gonna bonk him. Yeah, with like his face hidden in this mask. Oh, slow mo. Oh. I wonder if this is a dream or something, or she's having a vision somehow. I was there. And I saw blood. And that horrible plant. He's like, she can't know. How could she know these things already? Of course, there's nothing there. It was her passion. And she paid for it. Where did it happen? There is a jump behind the house. Hidden among the trees there. Oh, they're saying she died with a horseback riding. So the medicine really worked. Another couple of doses, and your patient will be ready for the asylum. I'm afraid so. She has reacted... Perfectly. Okay, so he's giving her hallucinogenics. A file of harmless saccharose. It isn't here anymore. You poured that one into the champagne instead of the hallucinogen. Fool! I, I'm sorry. Okay, so she's having these hallucinations without being poisoned. She just has the ability to have these visions. Her nightmares were really true. Brought on, I, I don't know, by some mysterious being. The spirits of the castle. I have never met any. Oh, okay, so the castle's haunted as well. Something terrible were to happen while he is here. I don't know why you want to run risks for nothing. All right. Anyway, I'm not so certain that I'm in such a hurry to get rid of her, you know. Oh, my, he's having an affair of his own. He's like, I can cheat on my wife, but she can't have anybody else. Muriel buried in the plant pot. Did they actually put the hallucinogenics in this time? And here he will be able to look after you, observe you, and study the remedies that are best suited to you. 
You will continue on as if nothing had ever happened, and the doctor will be only a guest. She obviously seems very thrilled about this. I didn't realize it. I hardly ever go out. Hampton Castle has become for me a sort of magnificent prison. Like a nightmare? Would you say a nightmare castle? Oh, oh my. I thought you didn't drink. Many years ago, this castle may have lacked water, but it certainly never lacked alcohol. This was one of Muriel's very favorite drinks. Yeah, she's just slowly becoming more and more like her sister. Oh, yes, David. You said that name coming out of the nightmare. And that name could perhaps help you to remember your dream. Are you really convinced? I'm guessing her and her sister weren't very close. She obviously didn't know that her sister was having an affair with David. treatment of the blood. <laughs> Why are you laughing, dear? You and your experiments. <laughs> She's like, that's hilarious. You think you're a scientist? What's the matter with you? I... Yeah, it's almost like her sister is taking over for certain sections. Yeah, like when she blacked out and goes to the crypt as her sister's ghost, like somehow taking over her mind or something. Don't hesitate to ask me. Even though I assure you, I have already told you as much as I know. Thank you. I'll come to see your laboratory later. It's okay so far. It definitely feels more like a soap opera than a horror movie. There's definitely a lot of like drama and talking and, you know, love affairs. Don't torment me, please. Let me leave this place. Well... If you don't want me to help you, however I warn you, you will end up a prisoner of your madness and obsessions forever. And who committed her to the asylum? Like Muriel, for example, with whom Jenny identifies herself in the dream. This earring proves that there is something real behind Jenny's nightmares. And if we can discover... They're like, oh, shoot, the doctor's on to us if he thinks it's real. Please, may I take your jewel box? Why, yes, of course. She's like, yeah, and I'll just put this earring in your jewel box and then everything will seem normal. I was rather embarrassed to admit that my wife sometimes hides certain things, you know, without any reason and without remembering it. They're like, oh, she just hides things randomly, you know, just part of her charm. Here's a gold bracelet that belonged to my mother. This one is from Sanssouci. Beautiful. And this is an earring that's... She's like, how did this get in here? She's like, I'm being set up. Yeah. Oh, shoot. She's like, I know this isn't mine. They're like, oh, look, you're just crazy. Nothing serious, but we must stop the hemorrhage immediately. Otherwise, it could be dangerous. Oh, God. Okay. Who's there? Of course, there's a creepy hidden passageway in this spooky house. It's a beautiful set. Yeah, comment below if you know, is it an existing house? Did they make it just for the movie? He's giving her blood transfusions from like what looked like a cut on her hand. Being successful again this time. Again? Yeah, those are their heartbeats again that she's hearing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I wonder if she'll figure it out. So they literally just like had her voice over it, and she's just like, You have to go. Oh my gosh. Well, that answers that question if she'll figure it out. Uh, her dead sister's ghost voice just told her exactly what was going to happen. Muriel Hampton, 26 years old. Sensing a theme here. All these women died very young. Oh god, it's just moving on. And of course the crypt is empty. Oh shoot. Yeah, I said something about her blood. Your pulse is regular. <gasps> oh, 
Oh god! Muriel's ghost is trying to get her to kill him? I saw her as she was about to strike you. Yes. That face, it wasn't hers. It was Muriel's. Yeah, Muriel's like, I can't do it, I'm dead, but I'm trying to get her sister to kill the person responsible for revenge. What happened to you, Jenny? 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 I'm not Jenny. I hate Jenny. I hate her. Oh, God. Why does she hate her? That's rude. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm convinced that it is absolutely necessary for her to leave the castle for surroundings more suited to the cure of her mental troubles. What is the matter? You may speak quite freely. I want to tell you there are ghosts in this castle, Dr. Ash. Yes. At least two that we know of, if not more. Will you be taking her back to the same clinic where she was treated before? Definitely yes, to begin with. I plan to take her away with me tomorrow. Well, I'll leave you to your work. Thank you. He's like, there's no way you're taking her out of this house, because I need people to think she's crazy. <laughs> gonna try and electrocute him like he electrocuted the other two just casually running wires under the bathtub oh my gosh this guy's a monster yeah I'm guessing he was hoping the doctor would collaborate his plan and say like yeah she's crazy you know you should be in charge of her estate and obviously that's not what happening here oh no 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 he dropped the soap oh shoot he's gonna electrocute him oh no he's gonna think it's day or Derek yep oh don't do it oh Jonathan just wanted to get the soap. Oh. I know his type. Affectionate, unselfish, and always ready to take advantage of a beautiful patient. You're also cheating on her. Like, why do you... Oh my gosh, this guy's a monster. You forget that greenhouses are made of glass and I am not blind. He really hates that greenhouse. Just as you say, Stephen. That's a cool shot. Yeah, she's like, whatever you say, I don't trust you. I'm getting out of here. She's like, you just can, you know, accuse me of cheating on you or flirting with this doctor, and uh, I'm getting out of here. It's so cold tonight. That damn blood. It's turning to poison in my veins. Cold. Yeah, they gave her uh, Muriel's blood, and it turned her younger. So bizarre. Yeah. Pure blood. I need Jenny's blood. Very well, then. You'll get it tomorrow. He's like, I'll just kill her. I told her we're leaving, but you know what? Uh, my lady needs some fresh blood to stay young. Uh, yeah, who knows how many times he's done this. There was another person listed in the crypt, so... Just keeps marrying young wives and killing them off. My heart... Oh, take my heart. Oh, take, take. Oh. Yeah, he cut out her heart at the beginning. Oh my god. Statue. Dagger. Dagger. She's having this like ghost fever dream, just shouting one words about how she was killed. Okay, well, at least this doctor now is suspicious of Steven, so... Do you like the Hampton Crest? Two hearts. Like, two heartbeats that she was hearing. Everything will be ready for you by this evening. And then we'll leave during the night, all three of us. At least officially. 
I'm going down to the laboratory. Yeah, I wonder how old she actually is. Like, he's done this, we can assume, you know, Muriel and maybe once before. <laughs> oh my god! how the blood is making her younger or keeping her young i guess but this is his magic experiments that he's got going on without any more dream oh god the big sleep oh no not jenny too come on nobody's making out of here come along now lie down Of course, there's a big thunderstorm, you know, the night of, everything's going down. Yeah, he found their hearts! Oh my gosh, yeah, the two hearts. Cheese and rice. So gross. Oh my god, well, that, that would smell terrible. With a knife through them. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're ghosts. Oh, oh. oh, bonked him. Oh my gosh. They like remember us and stay like exactly like they did when they died, like still got the blood on them. Ah. Steven. She's like, remember me? Remember I said I'd come back and haunt you? And just having her like very, very dark hair, you know, covering half of her face and her very pale face on the other side. And of course in black and white as well. With that same pleasure. Come. Yeah, now she's like, actually, I think torturing people is pretty fun. Uh, let me give you a shot. You know, let me torture you now. What? Not Steven. Oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah, she needs that blood to live. Or at least to stay young, so. Body in my senses. Until someone comes and destroys my heart. Okay, if they kill her heart, then the ghost version of her disappears. God! Oh, that her hair was like perfectly covering it. That's what happened when she got electrocuted. Oh my God! Now I've got your body and your monstrous soul. If there is any such thing in your damn being, he's in the chair. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I guess like her face like melted when she was electrocuted. Oh, now she's burning him alive. <laughs> She's like, finally, I get my revenge. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Oh my gosh. And of course, he has in the like weird torture chair that he has. David's having a rampage in the laboratory. Yep. Bye, Solange. <laughs> Oh my god, where did his head go? Cheese and rice! <laughs> Ew! Crispy. <gasps> oh god, yeah, get her out of there! Oh, bye David! Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, just seeing the ghost of your stepsister. Wah! <gasps> oh, the old 
hearts in the fire trick. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, see you later. Don't worry, Jenny. Now all of your nightmares are over and done with forever. Yeah, right. Like she's not gonna have some trauma from this. Yeah, she's like, you just threw my uh, dead sis stepsister's heart into a fire. Oh my god. Okay, she was the same actress played Jenny and Muriel. I was wondering that they definitely looked similar. And even she had that comment at the beginning of like, oh, if you just change their hair, they look very similar. So, so that's my first time watching the 1965 film Nightmare Castle. I didn't really enjoy it. It definitely felt more of like a slow drama or like a soap opera as opposed to a horror movie. It started off great. I was like, okay, you know, this is going to be more of like a love story, but still with some horror elements. And then it just kind of you know they really set up the story and dragged it out and then again the ending you know they picked things back up again personally i wish it would have been edited down a little bit more to make it shorter i know obviously older movies usually had a longer run time and a slower pacing but yeah i definitely wouldn't categorize this necessarily as a horror movie I don't mind watching black and white movies and it was interesting having you know those first few scenes where he's like torturing them and you know ripping out their hearts and things that you would imagine would be really gory and bloody if they were in color but I didn't mind having them in black and white again I'm assuming they filmed in black and white because it's a cheaper film stock than color it felt pretty predictable that he was gonna go after Jenny after he killed Muriel because obviously he's very motivated by you know this money and then we find out that he's using this blood to bring his mistress back to life. I don't know how old she is. I don't know how many times they've done this. We saw another name, Annabelle, in the crypt. So I'm assuming that was the wife before Muriel. So he definitely doesn't really seem concerned about his wives or having a relationship with them. And the fact that he's so clearly cheating on his wife with Solange, but gets so upset when she, you know, starts having an affair with David. I really enjoyed Muriel slash Jenny's performance. When Muriel was killed off so soon, I was like, okay, that's gonna be the end of it. And then and they bring in Jenny and it's like they do look very similar and even she makes that comment you know about them looking the same but with different hair colors because it was the same actress and the different hair colors definitely changed their overall appearance but yeah it was interesting to have that same actress play both roles I thought she did great I've never heard of her before see so a comment below what would I know her from but yeah I really enjoyed her performance the audio seemed dubbed so yeah comment below what language was this originally filmed in or was it shot somewhere else and all the actresses and actors are actually you know from that location I'm not too sure it wasn't the worst dub movie I've ever seen but I feel like you could tell and you know that kind of took you out of it sometimes especially when you feel like the voice tone wouldn't match that actor. I wish they would have spent more time setting up the backstory of the character and I thought maybe there would be this big twist at the end. The only twist was that, you know, Derek finds these hearts and throws them into the fire and the ghosts come back and the ghosts, you know, end up killing Steven which ghost revenge isn't exactly groundbreaking but all we know about Muriel is basically she's married to Steven and that's it and then she's killed off so soon and we find obviously about her affair as well we never really found out why Jenny was in the asylum they were saying she was having some kind of madness but who put her there and it sounds like maybe Muriel was her only family as well so I wish they would have explored that more and even when they're mentioning Steven's experiments I was like okay maybe there's gonna be you know something creepy going on there and it definitely was like he was doing these weird blood transfusions to keep his mistress alive in those last scenes when we see Muriel's ghost come through and she's got her hair on one side and at first I thought okay you like they're just trying to make her look you know really spooky and having her very dark hair you know with a white outfit and her very pale face and then when she pulls her hair back and we see just like this super melted flesh I'm assuming that's where David was laying on that side of her face when they were electrocuted and 
and even that scene you know when they're being electrocuted there's just like these like very brief flashes of lightning on screen and David still comes back with you know the blood and stuff on him but that was basically the only gore we really saw like the hearts and the blood transfusion so it definitely wasn't like an over-the-top gory or bloody film I'm not sure what this was even rated there was some like sexy suggestive scenes we didn't see anything crazy and I don't remember there being any swearing or anything like that and even Solange's character I was like I wonder how old she is how did you know her and Steven get together when we first see her I thought she had like burn marks or something on her face but maybe they were trying to be like wrinkles to make her look older and then obviously when Jenny arrives she's looking much younger and we find out with the blood transfusions but yeah I was like where did she come from like what's her backstory and all of this how is she she's staying alive with these blood transfusions. They had mentioned a witch in some way, so maybe she was a witch. It was definitely creepy and the fact that he takes the heart of his, you know, dead wife and her lover and uses them to, you know, grow this plant that Jenny ultimately sees, you know, is dripping blood and the visions and stuff that she was getting and how Muriel's ghost is slowly like possessing her and she's blacking out. She's like, where am I? What's going on? Muriel's trying to show Jenny what happened to her and trying to get her to kill Steven. Obviously we also Ultimately saw Muriel got her revenge by burning Steven alive which was terrifying and I'm glad Jenny and Derek were able to get out of there I don't know what their plan is for now I don't know if there are sequels or remakes or anything like that so comment below and let me know and the fact that you know Jenny is wearing her sister's clothes and that painting is you know still staring at them you know very haunting and even Muriel's like I, you're a monster I will come back and haunt you like this isn't over like if you could feel how much I hate you like I'm not done with this and then you know we saw them as ghosts when they came back. I like that they kept them as ghosts as like human form. I don't know that they would have had the budget to try and make some like low opacity ghosts or you know add in like practical effects or anything like that and it would have been interesting because then Muriel would have had to film you know her scene as Muriel then her scene as Jenny and kind of go back and forth between that. There is a show called Orphan Black where the same actress plays multiple characters and as far as I know you know that's how they film it. The same scene five times. Okay this time you're this character next time you run your lines as that character and just kind of going through like that so yeah it was definitely interesting to see her in this dual role overall I don't think I would watch it again it was pretty slow and definitely more of a drama and this you know revenge story of this ghost wanting to come back and using her sisters like this vessel to seek revenge against her husband who murdered her and you know I was kind of hoping for a bigger plot twist or something along those lines ghost revenge again not something Something we haven't seen before. I thought the set, that house was beautiful. Comment below if it's real, if you know where it was filmed. And it was an original screenplay and I didn't recognize the name so did they go on to write other things? What would I know them from? But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch please comment below. And as always please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Is Derek going to be tending to more than the plants? Good thing this isn't black and white. I feel like it'll be a lot of blood everywhere. Is that acid? What is he dropping on her? Growing a tree from his ashes. He's wearing her sister's clothes now. The plant is bleeding. And why she was in the asylum. Like we don't know much about her. She's living this like ghost fever dream. 